Welcome to Nauter Swan in Finland. We are now here at the factory, middle of the winter, minus 20 degrees outside and one meter of snow. However, as you see, work is ongoing, building yachts throughout the winter. And here, as a premiere behind me, we have the brand new Swan 58. The Swan 58 is a model with a heritage for Swan. We have in the past built several yachts in this size, like the old Swan 57, the Swan 59, even the Swan 60. Uh, as Swan 58 is the, the bigger sister of the Swan 48, launched uh, two years ago, the, the deck design and the deck layout is, uh, is a little bit similar. So we have also here uh, into the hull integrated bowsprit, a bowsprit that holds the parking for the anchor, also makes it easier to drop and lift the anchor. On the end of the bowsprit, we have a tack for uh, the Janaka, and further aft, uh, just in front of the underdeck furling jib, we have also a tack for the Code Zero. Uh, boat has also been prepared with an uh, underdeck lead for the, for the tack line, going on the side of the boat aft to the, to the cockpit. Here, under the forward uh, deck hatch, we have the anchor windlass. Uh, under the windlass in the sail locker is the drum uh, for, the, for the chain. And the drum is on all our boats. It's moved aft for, uh, for better balance of the boat, having the heavy chain not really in the bow. Eh? Forward here also is a deep locker for the gas bottles. And if the boat has the optional electrical cooking, this can also be changed into a fuel locker with ventilation. This hull has also an optional uh, pop-up uh, mooring winch. The second hatch on the bow is to the sail locker. The Swan 58 has a huge sail locker, a standing height inside and plenty of space for all kinds of sails, fenders, whatever needed. Eh? Uh, optional also on the Swan 58, this can be uh, interior for a crew cabin with a pipe pot and a toilet. Another typical uh, Swan feature on the, on the modern yachts is this uh, sunbathing area on the forward coach roof. Uh, the recessed area here has uh, fittings for, uh, for uh, cushions, cushions that can be kept in place also while sailing, cushions that have openings for the, for the, for the hatches so they can always be in place. Uh, the aft part of this recess is also planned for a self-tacking jib that can be equipped. Uh, the boat also has, uh, like uh, all our other boats, uh, a good sheeting angle with the jib sheets inboard. Uh, adjustable jib cars. The coach roof on the Swan 58 has a beautiful design. The area here around the coach roof windows is, is, is recessed. We call it the eagle eye look, giving a very, very slim and nice look. Uh, the side decks are wide, easy to walk on. Chain plates moved out to the bulwark. Uh, the spray hood is also recessed under a lid, making the, the flat deck or the top of the coach roof uh, totally flat. Further up, we have the halyards from the mast going under deck to the jammers and to the winches in the cockpit. Outside also on the combing, we have a nice, perfect seating, very comfortable. Winches close to the helmsman, easy to access also while steering the boat, easy to access from the cockpit and handle it, all electrical winches. Uh, in the cockpit floor, there's a dedicated locker for, for life rafts, easy to access. The cockpit on the 158 also have these L-shaped benches. Uh, in the benches, integrated uh, lockers for storage and aft of the benches also bins for uh, rope storage. A bit special with the, the 58 is the twin cockpit tables, making a, a, a nice passage from inside the boat aft, uh, also giving uh, multiple functions for the, for the tables. So you can have one side of the table lifted, the other side also. Then you can lift the middle sections, both tables, and lift, lower it in and transform it into a sunbed. The Swan 58 cockpit is big, it's very wide, and long. Pedestals with uh, buttons on top of the, of the, the flat top. Uh, electrical engine control moved up. The instrument panels for the engine also up here. Place for plotters and all instruments. Uh, there is comfortable seat 
for the helmsman on the combing. It is a lifting platform for sailing when the boat is healing. The sail handling on the Swan 58 is with all electrical winches. So the side winches are uh, further off, easy to reach for the helmsman, easy also to reach from the, from the cockpit. And this particular hull number has uh, chosen to have the optional uh, captive main sheet winch. So the winch is in the lazarette and there's only the pod on the cockpit floor. Uh. Standard on the Swan 58, there is also a drum winch in, in the cockpit for the main sheet. Uh. To the lazarette from the cockpit, there is a big opening, a big hatch in the floor. And also, of course, the bathing platform is uh, openable to access to the dinghy and for swimming. Inside of the yacht, we have the, the standard layout is with a forward cabin and two aft cabins. The saloon area is large, very wide, with a big sea sofa and sofa on the other side, uh, optional forward facing chart table. The galley is U-shaped, uh, large, easy to access all uh, equipment. The boat is equipped also with three toilets. So there are uh, two toilets aft, while the starboard one also has a separate shower. And of course, there is a separate uh, toilet shower in the owner's cabin. Optionally on the Swan 58, you can have a fourth cabin placed in the, the middle of saloon. And there can be a, a single bed with a lot of storage below. The galley with normal appliances like large uh, fridge, freezer, microwave, and a gas hob oven. Uh, optionally can be an induction oven. Also, for, of course, uh, optionally dishwasher, ice maker, whatever might be needed. Uh, of course, possible to have also on the starboard side uh, a washer dryer for uh, clothing, cleaning, etc. In the saloon of the Swan 58, we have a, a, a large uh, C-shaped uh, sofa around the dining table. Uh, direct to chairs on the outer side of the table. The table has a special feature, so when it's like this, it's a dining table, but it's also foldable into a smaller coffee table, so you can slide it into place and slide it out, so it's easy to access around the table. Eh? To starboard, on the four cabin uh, version, we have a long sofa and a forward-facing uh, navigation table with uh, instruments, plotters, etc., navigational instruments on the, on the side. Eh? Of course, also possible to have the, an optional uh, pop-up television. Forward in the saloon, behind these uh, lockers, we have the, the circuit breakers and the main instruments. Easy to access, easy to maneuver, and still hidden behind doors, making it neat and beautiful. Eh? The Swan 58 has a deck step mast, meaning that this is a support pole coming down from the, from the deck on the keel. Uh, good to brace on when uh, looking at the instruments or the circuit breakers and also the support pole is smaller than a mast coming through the deck so it's easy also to access around this to the seating in the, in the saloon. The owner's cabin, we have a large kingside uh, bed, plenty of uh, space around here also. We have a special here also like a uh, office desk or a vanity desk, whatever is chosen here, with a pallet to sit on, a pallet that can be moved away when not in use. On this front side, you can have a computer screen or a mirror or instruments, whatever might be preferred to, to use this in the best efficient way. The toilet and bathroom in the owner's cabin is a large version. We have a big shower, uh, Plenty of storage in, in drawers and lockers below the sink. The aft cabins in the Swan 58 are both the same size. Uh, comes with uh, twin beds or can also be chosen with a double bed. Both of the cabins have their own toilets and also a separate entrance to the toilet from the cabin so you don't need to access the saloon before going into the toilet. That's it for today. Thank you for this and I hope you have enjoyed the tour on board the 58. Hopefully you will be able to see this yacht sailing somewhere in the Mediterranean during the summer. For more information about this yacht and Nautas One, please have a look at our website online. <laughs>